Well, you know, we finished the season at 5-7-5. and five. So from a result standpoint, maybe we would have hoped for a little bit more. But there were several firsts this season, and there were several positives to take from the season as well. Um, in particular, we had um, four selections to All-Ivy League, their first time being selected. Um, Brian Rogers, the, our forward. Uh, Scott Prozeller, um, center midfielder. Austin Harms, our goalkeeper. And senior co-captain Rob Millick was also um, selected for all Ivy League. So, for those guys, it's a it's a great way to honor their individual accomplishments, and and I think their success was largely based on the performance of the team as well. Um, so, there were there were many team successes, and we can even measure that through individual player success and their nominations to all Ivy League. Um, throughout the course of the season, you know, with reflecting back, we played. We played eight teams that qualified for the NCAA College Cup this year, um, and in those games we went one, three, and four. So, you know, half of those games um, we either tied or won, which is very positive for me. We felt like we were competitive with um, every team we played against this year. A lot of heartbreaking losses, but but what that means is that we were able to compete in every game. Um, so I think the next stage for our program is not only to compete, but hopefully to get a couple of positive results. Against teams that um, against teams that are as good as um, teams we played this year. So I think it was all in all for my first season. I felt extremely lucky to work with a group of athletes I got to work with, and I felt like our team accomplished many of our goals. There's the players who kind of already received recognition, um, starting in the back with Austin Harms. He's a he's an excellent goalkeeper, and he was rewarded with a All Ivy League selection this year. But you know, that being said, um, sophomore goalkeeper Brett Conrad played the final match, and he actually got the win against uh, Penn, and I think, I think Brett's going to make a push to, um, to make himself better, to make the team better, and to make Austin better. So we've got great chemistry in our goalkeeping group right now, and, and I, think you'll see, I think you'll see bigger and better things from, from that group. Um, in the back line, you know, we return Richard Smith, obviously, who's a big impact player for us. Um, but in our final game against Penn, Richard missed. Um, he was serving a suspension for a red card he received. And we played um, the entire game with true freshmen um, in the back line. And they played extremely well. Um, so I think it was Kevin Harrington was the freshman that played. And, and Kevin played the entire game as dependably as Rich has played all season. So I think you'll see guys like Kevin Harrington who don't necessarily garner the statistics or the awards who will make a real impact on next year's team. Um, in the midfield, we had a freshman from Northern California, Kyle Henderson, who made a who made a great impact. Um, one of the best passing soccer players on the field for us. Um, Kyle got a goal against BU. Um, he got an assist against Holy Cross, um, and he became a real playmaker in the midfield for us. So I think with one winter and spring under his belt, um, a little bit of physical development, maturity-wise. Um, you'll see Kyle will become a real impact player next year as well. Obviously, Connor McCarthy of the freshman class, um, a truly dynamic forward with a lot of speed and, and a good nose for the goal. So I think Connor will become better as well. Um, players like Pascal Minsa, who really saw limited minutes this year, but um, we feel that Pascal will be, will be a big contributor here over his next three years. So I, I think our freshman class is extremely talented. Um, our sophomore class, I thought, put their stamp on this team this year a little bit in the sense that Scott Prozeller was awarded um, all Ivy League. Brian Rogers was awarded all Ivy League. Richard Smith is a staple of our defense. Um, so I, I think there's a ton of talent in our sophomore class that um, that's only gonna, it's only going to grow as, um, as they enter their third year of college soccer. So I'm excited about the future of the program. And obviously then our junior class, um, they're going to be our leaders next year. They're going to be our senior leaders. And the nice thing with this junior class is I expect that every one of those players will see significant playtime next year. So they're all going to be players that we can depend on. Baba Omosegban, Tim Linden, Jamie Reese, Austin Harms, Ben Suda, um, a, a great, group of, uh, great group of college soccer players that we're going to rely heavily on next year.